So this is your second year. So could you tell me your name, what school you go to, and why you're coming back to Harlem Children's Society? And My name you? is Rohina Tuazapu. I go to um, Bronze Leadership Academy High School. I'm a sophomore. And I'm coming back to this program before because I want to learn. Like last year, I was in the nutrition field. I want to learn, explore more this day because my future um, goals is like this program will help me accomplish that goals. And, it's good. and what are your goals? I'm to become a medical doctor. And last year when I went to the um, the lectures we go to, like people work in the lab and they explore cancer and how people it affects people. So I want to learn about that because that's in the medical field basically. So I want to learn about that and explore more and what kind of diseases and how you could cure it. That's great. Do you study science at school? Yeah. And how did you get interested in science? That's pretty good, but you get to a point that you think it's hard. Like chemistry, for example, it's really hard. I try my best, and that's it. The region this in my past. That's great. <laughs> so can you tell me a little bit, as a mother, watching your daughter in the program last year, what was it like for her, do you think? Well, the program, I think it's better. Because when she comes home, she tells herself how to eat. Don't buy this, don't be obese. Mommy, don't be obese. Obese is not good for your health, and so forth. She normally tells me, Mom, let's go to the supermarket so that I'll teach you what to buy. Because when I went to Harlem Children's Society, they taught us how to buy healthy food. Mm -hmm. So I think it's good. <laughs> Tell me about what you did last year. Oh, last year I worked, I worked um, in the nutrition field and we had a mentor. And you like, um, every day, not every day, but like three days a week, you go to um, supermarkets and see the quality of food and what kind of food people have to eat and where the food comes from and how many people are being in New York City. And we went to, I work in Manhattan, people work in Brooklyn, Bronx, and we have a library that we go to. We all explain what we um, learn and how to make, how to tell people to be healthy mm -hmm. and the food they, ha they have to eat. So, when you went back to school, did Harlem Children's Society affect your, feel, your attitude towards school or? As, did it change you as a student? Yeah, it did. Because, like, before I started the program, like, the kind of food that I eat, I don't know, like, which one is good for my health and which one is bad. But when I did the program, like, I learned that this is the kind of food I have to eat and this is the one that I have to avoid eating that could, it could affect my health. So I have to stop it. So are you, what are your plans for the future? My plan for the future is I'm to become a medical doctor, helping people and just help people to be healthy and <laughs> do you think you'll <clears throat> do you think you'll continue in Harlem Children's Society through college? Yeah. This is a good program. When I told my um my principal he was like, Oh, where did you get this program from? Like oh my aunt me about this program and said that's really good. I should explain it to my other students and they could join and I explained it to my other friend and she joined this year. Who told you about the program? My aunt. Your aunt did? Yeah, she worked in the hospital so her friend told her about the program and she told me. So, yeah, wow. So you're really resourceful and motivated <laughs> to find this on your own. <laughs> Every other student I've spoken to is like, oh my teacher told me to do it but you kind of found it on your own. You must be very proud of her. Yeah, I'm very proud of her. <laughs> so can you tell me about your background? Where are you from and what do you do? Well, 
My name is Barkisi Dasisi. I'm married with three children, two daughters and one son. I came from Ghana, West Africa. We came here last year. I'm now in medical like mm, nurses age. Yeah, when I came I went to school and after that I get a job and now nurses age now. So you wanna see your daughter become a doctor? Yeah, that's our main goal. <laughs> that's your main goal for Yeah, that. that's our main goal for that. And do you feel that Harlem Children's Society can help her become a doctor? Yeah. It was when I visited my sister. And she told me what's the uh, how do I call it? Summer classes. What where is Raina going? I said, Well, I don't know. She said, Oh, there's Harlem Children's Society. So she gave me the website. So when I came and I gave it to her, check it and see. So she checked it and see and she came and told me, how long they will I sit her to go to college and she wants to be a doctor. So I said, okay, that's nice. That's why we were interested in how long to That's great. And how are your science classes at your school? Do you feel like you're getting a good science education at school? Yeah. 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 I'm a sophomore, like not really in science, like it's just two science classes, so that's an environmental science and chemistry. Those are the only science classes at yeah. your school? No, those are the only two science classes that I took from my freshman year to sophomore year. Mm -hmm. But next year I'm taking AP Biology and I think her science. That's, that's good. Has being in this program made you more excited to study science? Mm -hmm. Like, when people talk about it, like how they use the rabbits and stuff in the labs, I feel like I want to do something like that and see how it is. Alright, great. great. Uh, you mentioned that, uh, that you wanted to help people by being a medical doctor. Mm -hmm. And you're originally from Ghana. The disparity between medical care, United States and uh, back in West Africa is you know, it's a large thing. Do you think you would go back to Ghana to, uh, you know, find roots and help your people there? Yeah, I hope here in, in my country. So you'd, you'd want to travel like maybe like doctors without borders or something? No, like, <laughs> I, like, you, I make a plan, like, from this year to this year, I'll go work in the United States and then go back to my country and help the people over there too. So you'd go to live there? Or? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> 